All right, I got some fun stuff to show off today. Um, I've been working today to get most of the recognizer battle wrapped up. And while I still do have a few little details I need to uh, mess around with, for the most part, it is working right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and reset this if I hit the right key. And here comes our old friend, the recognizer. And you notice he has an eye now and those little guard flaps on the side. So the eye turns white, so he's vulnerable when he goes to fix the doors. And I can actually destroy the eye if I get a lucky shot in there. Let me see if I can do that. While being chased by the paralyzer probe. Can I get through this door in time? No, he closed it. All right. Bought me an entire screen's width here. All right, we're lined up and go. Nope, nope. Nope. Got him. All right, so oh, that was a clear straight through shot, too. So now the recognizer is departing since I broke the eye. I haven't added the sparkers yet, and the game just locks up as soon as the recognizer is done um, exiting the screen. So uh, there were a lot of important things going on in the short video. Uh, for one thing, the, the recognizer detects when it has fixed all the doors and leaves, although in that case I actually destroyed the eye before it was able to do that. And it, it all works, so everything's here. Uh, there are still a few little kinks I need to work out. Uh, for one thing, I, I need to put the sparker on the eye. Uh, in the Intellivision game, when you, when you destroy the eye, it starts throwing off sparks. There's a little spark object there. I need to make that and, and attach that to it, but that's pretty straightforward. And uh, the other big thing that's still missing that I need to work on how I'm going to do is that in the Intellivision game, you can actually destroy the recognizer from the top, which is an advantageous position because you don't need to worry about the little shield flaps on the side. And the paralyzer probe knows this. And if you go, if you wander into the top of the recognizer, it starts moving a lot faster uh, just to keep you from exploiting that angle. Uh, right now, you can't destroy the recognizer from the top. I need to work out some of the peculiarities of that attack. So I'll need to go study the Intellivision game a little bit more. And the uh, Paralyzer Probe movement routine is also not correct at this point. Right now, it just chases you. It, that's really not what it should be doing. If you pay attention to the original game, what it does is it, it picks a direction that's more or less toward you, and it moves in that direction for a set amount of time before choosing a new direction, which is what the normal enemies do. Uh, the normal enemies, though their movement seems to be completely random, whereas the the Paralyzer Probe actually pursues you with its movements. But once it picks a direction, it moves in that direction for a certain amount of time, so you can kind of uh, fake it out. And you see this a lot when it's moving really fast. So you can kind of dodge it, and it'll keep going for a little while before it decides to change its mind and come in a different way. And based on that, I am pretty sure that that's also the way that the the final enemies, the guard enemies show up at a million points. I'm almost certain that's going to be the same way that they move. So I've been holding off on fixing the Paralyzer Pro movement until I see those guys again and get a better handle on what their movement algorithm is because I might be able to use the same code for both of them. I also think that that code may be closely related to how the enemy aims their discs at you when they throw it. It might be the same logic, so it would be helpful if I could write one routine to handle all three of those cases. But now that the Recognizer is pretty much done... Like I said, aside from those little details, I can get back to uh, walking my way up the score ramp and adding the enemy formations as I go up. And then once I hit a million points, those guard enemies will show up and I can uh, finally code those guys. They're really the only thing that's missing now are those guys. And at that point, the game will be in a state that I like to call gameplay complete, which means that everything that's supposed to be there is there. It isn't necessarily final, might be buggy, but everything is there. And once we're at gameplay complete, it's just a matter of fixing the little bugs, adjusting things. Uh, for one thing, I think the recognizer door repairs are far too slow right now, and I'd like to speed those up. Um, but uh, once I get all the adjustments done, then you got to slap in all the nice stuff like sound effects and uh, the title screen, game reset, pause support, all that stuff. But that stuff I've all done before, so it's just a matter of doing the work. Uh, so that's where we stand. Things are getting pretty close to done with this game. Um, the, the Recognizer battles were a major milestone, and they're pretty much there at this point. 
Uh, so once I uh, finish up the disk section and uh, do up the niceties and the secret feature I have yet to tell anybody about, this thing will be done. And um, I'm hoping to have it ready for... Um, I, I, Atari Age is planning, at the moment at least, a uh, another batch of games sometime in the spring. I'm hoping to have this ready by then. And hopefully we can get a physical release done up in the spring. But you know, we'll have to see what time and circumstance deals me on that front. Uh, but that's it for now. And I probably won't have another video here until I've got the guard enemies done. Because those will be the only really new thing to show off. Um, so it might be a little while before another video pops up. But uh, subscribe so you know when it does. And you can see those final enemies before I go into the home stretch.